Good afternoon, you guys. So I was going to wait until my other cover came before making this little flip, but I figured whatever, I have time. So I'm going to do it real quick. So the cover that I have coming, I actually bought secondhand for my girlfriend, Lindsay. It is by the same company that makes the one that I'm currently in. And yeah, so I'm gonna do a quick flip. So this is B6. I have a couple of videos already. And the B6, I am using a Stalogy in here. The front looks identical how it was when I originally set it up. Pretty much. I just have a couple of things tucked in here in the front pockets, mostly sticky notes, and then a couple of little odds and ends. I did change things up. I still have the 2020 calendar in the front. I will be printing the 2021 and putting it just kind of on top of it or putting it in where January starts. Haven't decided yet. So in the beginning, so this first page just has a couple of bills and I check them off as they're complete. It's kind of my waiting on section. And then these are from SM Plans. These are her printables that she offers for free. I then have the forward planning. So these are what I decided I'm going to use for forward planning. These are SM Plans week on one page. I just print them and then I tip them in with a roller adhesive. So everything going forward, I will show you that section in just a second, will be on the week on one page. So sometimes I do a weekly and then I jump right into my dailies. I do, I'm kind of flipping fast because I do journal at the same time. So usually time related things go on this side, to do's on this side. Doesn't matter, I change it up every day, I do something different. So there's another weekly, more dailies, journaling. I let my kids color in here. And then this is where my forward planning starts. So I have this little tab to show my forward planning. And then I have through June in here. So anything appointment related or whatnot will go on these because I am putting my regular monthly in a month at a time because I don't want them lumped all together. So like I said, I have all the way through June, 2021 there. And then I decided to to make these trackers. They're not the prettiest thing, but honestly, it's not meant to be pretty. It's It works for me. So I'm tracking my steps on my Apple Watch. I just note them down right here. I do note down a goal, my step goal, workout goal. And then here are my workouts uh, for December. I was not working out in November, so I started, I've been starting strong and working out every day. Today is the seventh, so I still need to do my workout. And then I've just been noting over here any workout things or my cycle. Let me get into another weekly, and then my dailies. And then we get into December. I decided to do something different. Instead of having my bills sitting over here, I put those on my monthly calendar, printed another freebie from SM Plans, and then turned this into my gratitude log for that week, or that month. So I just have a little sticky note that has bills written on it and I just check them off as they auto deduct. And this is what I will be using for my monthly plan. So each month when I've gotten to the end of the month, I will print this. I have them all, I actually already have them printed. I just have to put them in and I'll go month by month. And there's last week's weekly, dailies. Here's some notes that I took from Parent Teacher Conference. Just another daily, another continued notes. And then this is my no wine and no soda for the month of December. I am doing really good with no wine. Soda, soda is my weakness. I do have a Coca-Cola a day usually, uh, but I've gotten better and it's just like turning into every other day, every couple of days. Here's some notes that I took about getting our new refrigerator because ours broke. Thankfully we were able to get one. This was Friday, this was the weekend. Oh no, that was Saturday, this is Sunday. And then I created a, a December online order page. And those were new pens that I bought. And then this is just a mess. Um, I started out by just pen testing and then Violet started writing her name and then my other daughter wrote poop <laughs> and I'm just going with it. I had already written out my weekly plans and then they colored on it. And I'm just not going to change it, I'm gonna leave it alone. This back page just had a lot of bleed through, so I was going to just use it as a pen testing page and I'll just put a little sticky note, um, like a little tab sticking up so I know it's there. And then this is the start of Monday. I just started my running to-do list and I haven't really done much for today. In the back section, I do have... Okay, so notes section, there's just too much in here I don't wanna show. I have like contacts, podcast, uh, a couple of addresses, some information, another pen testing page. 
And then I get into my holiday shopping stuff. I wrote down everything, how much it was. I'm going to make a list of foods that my parrot can have and can't have. And this is where I write down like songs that I see that I want to download. Then this is my kids section. I just have paper clipped off and some post-it notes, a little statement that I need to mail out. And then this is a Jubin, Jubon Techo. I'm terrible at pronouncing that, but it is the B6 size and I got it off of Amazon. I can link that below as well. It will take you to my Amazon uh, storefront, which is an affiliate link. And then I don't have anything in here or that pocket. There is no big back pocket either, but I cannot wait to show you guys my new cover. It is coming today and I will be sharing that on my Instagram. So feel free to follow me over there. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Bye.